Today on Horner Sunday Kitchen, we're making meatloaf, another meatloaf, but this one's different. This is gonna be a pizza meatloaf. All you need is some ground chuck or ground hamburger, ground beef. Then you take some Parmesan cheese, some mozzarella cheese, some pizza sauce, some onions and mushrooms already cooked in the cast iron pan, some fresh basil, some oregano leaves, one egg, and some Parmesan breadcrumbs, and we're set. We're gonna show you how to make this. You don't wanna miss this episode. This is gonna be a good one. So you're gonna to wanna to saute the mushrooms and onions. So get some onions, put some olive oil in your pan. You hear that? That's a good sound right there. All right, so you wanna, what you're gonna to try to do is get the liquid melt the liquid out. Otherwise it'll crack your meatloaf and just, the water will leak out in the meatloaf. It's not going to be as good. So what you want to do is you want to take your mushrooms and onions and saute them, get most of the liquid out and that way you can add it to the, the spinach and roll up, roll it up in the meatloaf with some bacon. It's going to be awesome. Be back when it's done. All right, this is gonna be quick. You just crack an egg in there, throw it away, add a little bit of your garlic parmesan or parmesan breadcrumbs, just about an eighth of a cup. You don't want very many. It's just enough to soak up some of the grease, some of the grease from the hamburger, so it makes it juicier. We're not allowed to say that M word, so. It makes it juicy. All right. And some oregano leaves. Put that in there. And then we're going to mix this up. Just mix it up by hand. Get it all incorporated. We're not putting any pepperoni in this today or salami or anything like that. We're just gonna do, because we got a hamburger. I mean, it's a hamburger. So we're gonna make a vegetarian pizza with hamburger. It's gonna be good. We want to the reason I get that parchment paper out is once you get this mixed up here, once you get it all mixed up, you just plop it right down there. This is a stuffed meatball. So you take that, flatten that out. You don't want it too thin, but not too thick. Probably about a half inch, half inch to three quarters of an inch full or thick, and, and you're good to go. All right, now we're gonna stuff it. Now you got it flattened out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna add the stuff to it. So we're gonna, we're gonna add the pizza sauce first. So we can spread it on evenly, just like that right there. And of course, I'm using HEB brand roasted garlic pizza sauce. That's our favorite. It's really, really good. And you can you can paint it on with your with your hands, or you can get a brush and put it on. I'm gonna do a brush because I gotta reach in the cheese. Get the cheese. I'm gonna put most of my sauce here because that's where we're going to start the rolling up okay so that's going to be oh it's going to be so good now what i'm going to do is put the cheese on here put the mozzarella cheese of course i buy pre-shredded because i'm lazy i don't want to have to shred the cheese I'm put, a, put a little bit more on there oh i like it yeah it's got to be cheesy all right then we we'll put some some mushrooms, mushrooms and onions. So this can be kind of like a combination pizza here. And next, we put this fresh basil. I got it from our garden, I cut it up. It's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be great. Of course, we have some in the hamburger, but I like a little bit there too. 
and some some oregano leaves that'll bring out some more of the flavor and then some parmesan cheese got to have got to have a little bit of parmesan in there And then what you do is you just take this parchment paper and you just roll it up like that. Get it going, press it down a little bit, and roll it one another one. Another one. Stuff that stuff back in there. You don't want that escaping. And just try to get it over as much as you can. Of course, we're gonna put that part down on the bottom. So and just like that. There you go, you crimp the sides. So now that goodness, and it's gonna be bursting with flavor probably, but we don't want it, all of it running out. We want it, we want it in there. So then just press it down, mold it the way you want it. And we'll put it in a pan. Just like that. Look at that thing right there. That is a thing of beauty. Beautiful. And then of course we're gonna to top it with a little bit more mozzarella cheese. When it gets closer to being done, I'm also gonna pour some more pizza sauce on the top. So this is going in the oven and we'll see you when we get back. We're gonna cut this pizza one open and see how it looks. Just cut it right in the middle. Oh, look at that. There it is. The cheese, the sauce on top. Oh, that's gonna be wonderful. I can't wait to try that. Back in a minute. Welcome back. We're gonna try the pizza meatloaf now. Just out of the oven, oh, about, about 10 minutes ago. I had, to, I had to let it cool down. I can't eat hot, hot food. So, this smells so much like Italian, like a, like a pizza. It tastes just like a pizza. The mozzarella cheese, the, the sauce is awesome. It's roasted garlic from H-E-B. Get a roasted garlic pizza sauce, put it in there with some mushrooms, some onions. Uh, there's some bacon in there. Mm. That is amazing. You gotta try that one. You gotta do it. That beats any old meatloaf. That's definitely not, not mom's old meatloaf. You gotta try that. So, all right, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you can post it or notified when we post another video. All right? So you have a great day.